When people make claims about religious or cultural exclusivity, things can get kind of ugly. So when a group claims to be God's chosen ones, it's really easy to feel skeptical. What then does the Bible say about the church that's supposed to make it fundamentally different than this exclusivist attitude? That's what this video is all about. What does it mean to be chosen by God? Many people know that the Bible speaks about Israel as God's chosen people. This is one of the main themes of the Old Testament, and even in the New Testament, Paul said that the gospel would be preached to Jewish people first, but also to Gentiles. So what does it mean to be chosen by God? The ancestral forefather of the Jewish people was a man named Abraham. Abraham was chosen by God to begin a great nation, and God promised that through Abraham's descendants, all peoples of the world would be blessed. Jesus fulfilled God's promise to Abraham by fulfilling God's law and dying for the forgiveness of all people's sins. He opened the way for non-Jewish people to join God's family. Abraham was chosen to have the special honor of being father to a great nation. Jesus also specifically chose Paul to be a messenger. Even though Paul was Jewish, like Jesus, he was chosen to preach the gospel to the Gentiles and to bring them into the kingdom of God. That was a mission that Paul was proud to fulfill, but there was also a sadness that came with this mission. In Romans 9, Paul says, My heart is filled with bitter sorrow and unending grief for my Jewish brothers and sisters. I would be willing to be forever cursed, cut off from Christ, if that would save them. Paul was brokenhearted because his own people, in many cases, would not believe in Jesus and receive the blessing that God had promised to Abraham so long ago. Paul explained that God's true people consisted of anyone who trusted Jesus Christ with the same kind of faith Abraham had thousands of years before. Jew or Gentile, anyone could accept Christ and be God's chosen. Are there some special chosen people who God prefers? No. The door is open to everyone. The church is the collective chosen family of God, the new Israel, the new children of Abraham. All people are welcome to join this chosen family if they accept Jesus Christ as their savior. God did not predestine some to be saved and others to be lost, but instead welcomes anyone to a new destiny in Christ. This fulfills his promise to Abraham, a family as big as the whole world. Jesus has opened the door for you to join the family too. Everyone is welcome in the family of the chosen one.